Hello. Hmm. Hi, everyone. Good to see you as always. We'll get started in just a second here. Howdy. I like howdy. Okay. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. I should have like different monsters on this little title screen, just walking around, and you can click on them and get their get their distinctive noises. I don't know. Welcome everyone to Wad Wednesday. We're going to pick a completely random Doom level or two uh, and play it. Here is our real life mascot, the plushy pain elemental. Rub its head for good luck. This this ASCII version, I love it, but it's you know it's no substitute for the for the real thing. All right, let's hit random. Uh, oh, this is interesting. This isn't a this isn't something we can play, but uh, it's a historic document, I guess. Docs editing Doom Builder: An Illustrated Guide by John W. Anderson, A.K.A. Doctor Sleep. Um, I guess this is, yeah, I mean, this would have been around the time that Doom Builder, that the first version of Doom Builder was released. Uh, it's still a descendant of Doom Builder, is still one of the, one of the leading level editors for Doom. Pascal Code Imp uh, Van Hayden um, was the original author, and I think nowadays it's being maintained by a few different people. But, yeah, cool. And Dr. Sleep, of course, who contributed, who did the the uh, I forget what the whole thing is called, but it's all based on Dante's Inferno. Uh, a few levels of which appear in a few levels of which appear in um, in the master levels, and one of which appears in Episode Four of Ultimate Doom. So anyway, yeah, I you know I I think I could tell it to I could tell my little launcher here to 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 ignore the docs directory, but I also kind of like drawing up this stuff randomly. Oh, and this is a PDF, so yeah, this is definitely state-of-the-art for 2004. All right, let's hit random again. Get a level. Wait a minute, what just happened? Uh, oh, does this not have a readme in it? Weird. I wonder what... Yeah, this just doesn't have a readme. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna do something a little. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I don't normally do here, and oh gosh, like <laughs> I'll try to find um, combos. Um, I'll try to find. Oh, and there's not a um, dang. There's not a there's not a text file with this, huh? Okay, well, yeah, this is some mod. I guess it, you know, it's showing the readme from from the last file that I chose. Just because I guess it it usually assumes that there's a text file that it can display in there. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this thing is in Combos. I'm kind of guessing that it is a. I'm kind of guessing that it is a weapons mod of some sort, or like a non-level mod. But uh, okay, so maybe these are all under. It's we've got extreme one two one two 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 three etc. Um, but I'm guessing that this readme here they're all dated the same thing. Um, update patch for extreme doom two. Due to the bad upload of extreme two, as many of you know, I have redone it. This only in smaller five smaller files called extreme yada yada. Hatred on a log at hotmail.com. Okay, Dan Dominowski. Uh, a huge total conversion in which there are five marines to choose from many different or new monsters. A lot of new weapons. This is, let's see. So are there any new levels? Episode and level all. Okay, so this is like a full-on just conversion of, of everything. Um, it looks like I would need to include 
all of these files in order to be able to play it. What do people think? Uh, should I try to play this big weird thing that it replaces a bunch of stuff? It's from July of 97. Um, and yeah, my, my little launcher has normally been able to handle any kind of weird stuff that we've thrown at it, but in this case, not so much. Trooper replaced with evil marine. Sergeant replaced with evil stormtrooper. <laughs> okay, the storyline here. <laughs> um, Satan, or Barney the Purple Demon, whichever you prefer to call him, has resurrected the Empire and brought his cousins out of the basement. He also made clones of Darth Vader, then went and got bent on world domination while you've been on Mars. He easily overran UAC and even got a few of your marine buddies hooked on his drug. They live in a drug-induced utopia and think you're trying to destroy it. You found a ship heading away from Earth and stoped it. Stopped it. Sorry. I just have to do the the John Freeman uh, reading of, uh, of misspelled words, if they're funny enough. On board were four warriors in stasis, no matter how weird. Now you have the Tick, Pris, the, the Tick, Pris, a weird elf named Luton, and Shroom Boy. Each has their own set of weapons and size and white differences. Also on board, you found an automatic Vulcan gun. The BFG has been tuned down by your enemy, but at least you got it shoot quickly which makes up for a lack of power it is up to you and your four comrades to save earth p.s luton has an awesome missile launcher but anytime you shoot it you go flying backwards this is not a bug i did this to keep you from using it in lower levels okay this is a quality patch i have tested it a bazillion times if there's any problem with it please tell me at that hotmail address that we saw uh okay this this could be this could be interesting <laughs> Uh, opinions. Oh my god. Uh, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cringing on behalf of this person uh, a bit. M opinions. Okay, here are my opinions on life. I included this just for the hell of it. Metallica is the best band ever. <laughs> Macintosh computers suck. Freaking should not be illegal. Freaking for those who were born <laughs> after most of us, I guess, uh, was like phone hacking. It was kind of popular in the 70s. That was what Steve Wozniak uh, and, the, and Steve Jobs got their start doing. Uh, Id Software's Doom 2 is the lamest game without my patch. All right, buddy. Uh, Mountain Dew is best pop. Pot should be legal. I have my reasons, okay. And <laughs> links to a fact. Uh, Cliff Radka is an absolute psycho, if you know him, that is. Rush Limbaugh, okay, all right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a range of opinions being offered here. Uh, all right. Is nothing sacred? Barney the dinosaur? You're really going in on the important powers of the day. Um, okay. Well, uh, I am... My curiosity is piqued. So I'm actually going to... Uh, yeah, you know what I'll do? I will... Um, even though the little level name won't show up on the stream like it normally does while I'm playing, I'm going to try to include all of this... All of this nonsense. Um, I wonder if I can use wild cards. If I could just do. Let's see if let's see if this works. Uh, I have no idea what we're gonna get here. Okay, yeah, it looks like it did add all of it. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so we've got uh, MIDI of Metallica's "Nothing Else Matters." Uh, this is called, the title screen here is telling us this is something called Toad Doom, where we've got Toad from Mario, uh, two toads flipping us off, uh, because this is 1997, and that is just the most extreme, awesome thing you can have, clearly. Um, let's see, okay, Toad Doom, yeah, all right. All right, so the, the switching sound that we're getting there the are, are someone saying, the sausages are done. I've, I have no idea what that's all about. Um, it's possible that this is going to have, like, some crappy, you know, extreme edgy jokes or something. So in which case, you know, let's just all, you know, you know, glare in disapproval and move on unless it get, just gets too gross. But, um, but you know, other things about this, I'm really loving. Like, this this skeleton with sunglasses, just... I just really appreciate the initiative of, like, looking at the Doom menu screen and being like, how can this be more awesome? 
sunglasses on the skull menu selector thingy. Okay, all right, let's do knee deep in shrooms. <clears throat> Toad is a, okay, we've got a little homophobic insult there. Uh, can take it, is pissed, is crazy, and kicks ass. All right, let's do Toad is pissed. Um, because I always imagined Toad being just secretly, Toad from Mario being, like, just secretly a seething ball of anger, probably. I don't know. It seems plausible. Maybe the Paper Mario games have explored this in detail. So wait, are there no levels in this? Gosh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if there are any levels in this, in this, in these files. Damn, okay. Um, let me look at what got loaded in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we are indeed loading in all of these things. Also, why are the, these things have like a thousand lumps each? That is something. Yeah, I don't know. And maybe maybe Extreme Three is a uh, is a repack of it or something. All right, let me let me just you know we're we're kind of fumbling our way through here, but uh, let me see if this has more or less the same effect. Yeah, not quite. Yeah. Okay. So now this, I think I really, I think I was launching it the correct way before. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't actually look like it's got. Um, it doesn't actually look like it's got custom maps. Uh, we've just got wacky sounds and graphics, and uh, I like the sky, actually. This, this cool reddish sky. Um, hold on. I guess the sound effects in this are just really quiet, because they were probably just wave files on Homeboy's hard drive here. Alright, so we've got some custom... Um, I kind of want to load up like just a custom... Like, all right, there's some some sort of samples from some like Monty Python or something. I don't know. This, you know, which is pretty common. Okay, so these are like different tech. They've replaced some of the textures here. All right, so there's like a stormtrooper there. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of wondering if a lot of this stuff isn't compatible with ZDoom. Yeah, we're getting some custom replacement stuff here, but um. You know, like the readme was saying that that some of the troopers are like stormtroopers or something, and we're definitely not seeing that. We're seeing pretty much totally vanilla monsters. Um, some sort of evil sound going on with the uh, with the pinkies there. All right, that's like a pig noise. All right, so yeah, this is this is definitely just a bunch of this is a bunch of random stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, it, it could be conflicting with Wad Smooch. Let's let, let's let's try like, you know, let's try one more time uh, just with with Vanilla Doom Two. Um, I wouldn't actually expect. Like, custom monsters not showing up would definitely be more of a, like, I don't know if it's using binary, um, binary lumps or what. Oh, we've got, like, a, like, a mushroom thing here. Yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah, the maps are still all in, uh, in doom 2wad So, yeah, this probably is, I don't know, um, let's just see if... Oh, actually, this is even less, uh... Yeah, okay. So I don't think, unfortunately, yeah, I don't think this is necessarily going to, uh... going to give us the full experience. Um, I think, honestly, probably you would want to run, run this with, like, Chocolate Doom or something. It just seems like it was, like it was intended to use, um... You know, just vanilla Doom.exe or something. Um, so yeah... All right. Well, let's let's load our launcher back up here um, and try another file. That was, you know, kind of entertaining. I mean, it was certainly it's certainly an artifact of one type of Doom mod you could play in uh, in 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 1997. But um, hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we got a new. We got a new. Uh, we got a new random level here. We've got. Um, <clears throat> what's the name of this thing? The Arena. Uh, by Al Howe, uploaded by Graham Burgess, I guess, in two thousand five. Whereas the original file is dated uh, July tenth, nineteen ninety six. I guess. Uh, level one is Imp Hatchery by Al Howe, and level two is the Arena. So okay, yeah, this seems like a standard, you know, 1996 Doom two, two level thing. Additional credits: my family for their patience. Steve Wilson and Billy Blaze Price for helping me playtest these and all my other levels. Um. Da -da -da -da. Description of level one. Have you ever wondered where imps come from? This level answers that question and more. In this level, you will find the blood pools run off from the river Acheron. At certain times, imps are spawned right out of this tainted blood. You will also find their guardians. This level is meant to be level 14 of my expected 32 level wad. Woo! Big plans. Uh, with several ambushes and puzzles, this level is the best single level I've ever seen. I hope you enjoy it. Lots of work went into its creation. Its appearance ranks a 10. Uh, try starting with just the pistol and see how far you get. Description of level 2. In the center of hell, you find yourself in the middle of a great arena. You will need to use all your wits to get through this level alive. Remember, your strongest weapon is the monsters themselves. Alright, cool. Um, this level contains several great-looking rooms, and several of them require battle plans to get through alive. Alright, alright. Disclaimer, I'm sorry if these levels cause you any problems, but I'm not responsible for any problems you might experience related to the use of these levels. I think this is a bit like, the, yeah, this is the Doom wad equivalent of the coda at the end of Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, yeah, just, you know. Okay, uh, alright, yeah, let's, let's, let's boot this sucker up. Try all the wads listed on my webpage. They will beat any other wad. <laughs> Bold claims. If you still want more, send me email. Be careful, there's a lot of bad wads out there. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you from 2018, Al Howe. Okay. <clears throat> Let's boot this up. Arena. The first one was like the blood pits or something. And then we've got the arena. Alright. Blow me away. Um... <clears throat> no custom... Uh... No custom status bar, that's fine, you know, it's just say. Okay, um, this is a cool space. I like this, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, this is, this is a very large space. Oh, neat, yeah. This kind of reminds me of, uh, there's like some hell lava levels from, uh, from, from Hexen, or Heretic, I believe. What is this? Uh, what is this song we're hearing? Is this like ACDC or? Or just yeah, I can't I can't quite place it. But all right, so this is a massive level. I'm I'm getting the impression. I'm starting to get the impression that this is a massive level. Oop, almost got in there. Uh, man, there's monsters everywhere you turn here, kind of. I'm just running. I'm just running away. Man. All right, there we go. Now we're in business. Got the chain gun. Mother by Danzig. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. That is a that's a good that's a real good Doom wad uh, soundtrack right there. Jeez. Okay, so there is kind of more, way more monsters than I can actually deal with with the current with my current ammo reserves. So as soon as I take down this caco, I'm probably going to need to get a move on here. <clears throat> okay, we got the got the chain gun here. Or, sorry, the plasma gun. Um, alright, alright. Handle this so far. It's all of our bullets. Um, man, what all... We have already, like... Yeah, that, that level does a good job of just pouncing on you right at the start and keeping you moving. Um, a bit overwhelming, but cool. 
Um, and yeah, I like the overall shape and stuff. Like, yeah, a few different... These, each area that we've seen is pretty different. Jeez, this lava is no joke. I mean, I guess I could run over here. Yeah, I didn't necessarily come out of that ahead. No, just barely. Alright, well, yeah, and now I have a respectable amount of plasma ammo, so... I'm gonna turn on this music just a bit. While still appreciating it. Oh, man. Okay, alright. So we've got a foothold here. Alright, so... Cool, we got a chainsaw. That's good. Always good. I like, um... One thing this author has done here is, um... Oh, hey. Oh, jeez. Sawing the caco. Alright, I'm gonna die if I don't pick up that soul sphere, I think. Ow. Low on ammo. Gotta do what I gotta do what I must. Alright. Getting a lot of use out of this chainsaw. I saved the receipt, but we can probably not take it back at this point. Um, cool. Yeah, uh, what I was going to say before more monsters jumped on me, um, <clears throat> the author has created a little, um, a, a thin little border sector around this so that the rest of this room can be very dark, but the build, but this, this structure itself, this kind of freestanding building here, uh, can remain brightly lit, which is an interesting effect. Um, Alright, I don't have a shotgun yet. I'm really feeling a need for a shotgun. Don't have a yellow key. Um, cool. Alright, can't get at these, at these jerks. I don't really want to burn more plasma ammo on them. I do kind of want to just take out all of these guys. Like, there's fireballs coming from a lot of different directions right now. I kind of want there to be fewer directions that fireballs are coming from. I am, however, taking damage doing this. Which is not the best. Okay. Alright, well, we're doing okay. I mean, health... Could definitely use some more health. Alright, is this where I went before? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, Alright, getting a little, a little clearer sense of the lay of the land here. <coughs> Um, what do we get up here? Can I just, like, do a weird little, like, doom jump? Yes, I can. Okay. Alright, cool. Now I have... Now I have a shotgun. That's great. i take out these guys. Just get it out of the way. Oh, yeah. Separate cage... Just trying to make all this junk habitable. Okay. Um, let's see. So I can't go in. I don't have any keys, so I can't get into any of those spaces. Did I miss anything in this structure? I don't think so. All right. Let's let's carry on. This goes just goes up to that room. Let's see. And I've been down here, but I don't think I explored it very fully. Got a little blood lava kind of fall here um, with some dramatic lighting. I mean, this this level is is bringing some. Some nice high contrast sort of visuals and stuff. Which is always better, in my opinion, than just leaving it, you know, all nasty drugstore lighting. Um, okay, and there's the yellow key. And I'll bet some monsters are coming in. Yep. Monsters are coming on in. Lots of monsters. How many will there be? 
Oh, geez. Okay, yeah, they're spawning all over the place. I can deal with that. They still probably... Oh, okay. Alright, now I got a Berserk Fist. That's good. That's good. Oh, jeez. That's a little too many revenants for me to deal with comfortably. I can deal with them, just I just won't be comfortable. Alright, got a lot of revenants in play here. And I don't have the super shotgun, so I am really missing something that can, like, sit these guys down expediently. Alright. But I am able to kind of lead them over here. Funnel them into a, a usable kind of thing. Uh, there are way too many... Yeah, there's way too many monsters. Currently. Imho. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, there's just tons and tons of monsters. And... Oh, jeez, okay, some... Some bigger boys... Um, let's see. Oh, jeez. They're back there, too. Alright, this is a really, like, this is an interesting... You see this in modern wads all the time, really, where just sort of an ambient monster population spawns, and it's not so overwhelming that it instantly becomes, like, a frantic shmup kind of thing, but it's, like, it's creating this pressure, you know? Like, I have plenty of room to run around in this level, but... Oh, oh. Um, oh, what just happened? Did I make a terrible mistake? Oh no, I'm just getting lowered down to... Whoa, something. it's going even further down there. Interesting. Huh. What's going on there? Alright, so I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go down here. Uh, now I'm down in like, these sort of catacomby type spaces. What's going on here? Okay, so there's a tall lift. I guess I'll get on that. Um... <clears throat> This is good, but I'm not sure if it's as great as the author claims, uh, says Quasi Otter. And yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like, I think, you know, this is this is solid, you know? I like what this is doing, but um, I don't know. I think the author, author was being a bit boastful there. Uh, okay, so I, I got here. Does that help me at all? Damn. Oh, okay. All right. So I can ride this thing down, and I think I can get back into the main space there. And my fear is that a bunch of monsters have bunched up in this area back in the main part of the level here. Oh, jeez, what? Um, uh, this feels like a map straight out of Doom 2, Episode 2. Uh, oh, man, that's annoying. Um, yeah, Liz, yeah, Liz uh, has been doing uh, a, much as she did for Doom 1 uh, a good while ago. Jeez, oh, this is just annoying. Um, yeah, and it's good, and you should check it out. Yeah, she just plays through, she's playing through all of the Doom 2 levels, commenting on them. Um, ah, oh god, this is so, like, the lift goes back down if my head bonks the ceiling. So I have to, like, kind of jump off right before it reaches the top. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I'm just going to cheat my way up this if I miss it a, th a third time. Or a fourth time, or however many times it's been. Oh my gosh, Kako down here. Not acceptable. <coughs> Kako. Ugh, okay, yeah, screw it. This is, that's just not a reasonable thing to do. I don't know what, I don't know what the intent was there, but, ugh, yeah. Alright, anyway, before I fell down, I'll a mine shaft. Uh, I was playing this level. Um, I guess... Alright, I've got an invulnerability, so I guess I might as well use it to dish it out to some of these some of these tougher monsters. Let's just capitalize on it. Just... This is messy. Everything about this Wad Wednesday is messy. You know, our launcher broke on this one weird file, which then broke in GZ Doom. I'm playing kind of sloppy here in a level that 
really has a lot coming at you from different directions. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's what we gotta do sometimes. Berserk Fist is actually not nearly as... You know, you can stun a chainsaw as a bunch of fast attacks. And you can stun Kaka so they can't... So they can't, uh, retaliate, usually. So the Berserk Fist is actually quite a bit more dangerous to use against Kakos. But, uh... Oh. Alright, have I cleared this out? I mean, that was only the, the, the yellow key. So I'm, I'm fully expecting this to go on to be a lot more extended. You know, I'm going to find the red key next, and it's going to be a whole thing, and yeah. And that's fine. Alright. What does this lead? Kako... Alright, um... Oh yeah, there. I think there was a yellow key door, right? Uh, yeah, I think if I go into this structure here... Um... Damn, that's why you don't... That's why... That is why chainsawing a mancubus is a fraught endeavor. It's not recommended. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to do it again. Ow. He got me. Alright. Yeah, there we go. There's Mother. Let's see if we can do this again. Let's see if we can do this right. Additional imps that I missed. Alright. Um, yeah, Liz is, uh, Liz has done a bunch of things. She's, uh, yeah, she's, she's written a lot and, uh, has, has a podcast and, uh, she made, yeah, she's, she's done some Doom stuff, um, and made Wolfenstein mods way back in the day. Um, yeah, Eloguro on, uh, on Twitter and the blogs and so forth. Um... And yeah, I've streamed Doom with her before. Uh, okay, all right, cool. Well, that was the red key, so now we can... Um... All right, let's get into that. What did I miss there? Oh, oh, this leads in... Oh, okay, actually, I was just... I had just had it completely twisted as far as which way to go. All right, so... Oh, yeah, there was another... See, that's weird. This is listed as a yellow key card door, but it's got the red skull thingies. Oh, crap. I didn't even... I just autopiloted into there. Um... Yeah, that's weird. The level just kind of... It feels like it abruptly... Ends a bit abruptly. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. This really is just the end of the level. So did I see everything that this level had to offer? Or Yeah, no, I think so. Oh, right, that's right. And the, the, the story for this level was like the blood pits that imps come out of and stuff. Sure, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I feel like it fulfilled that stated fictional purpose. Um, let me see how many. Okay, yeah. So there's only I uh, there's how many secrets? There's seven secrets in here, of which I have found none. But I I don't know. I don't f necessarily feel strongly compelled to go find them now that I've basically finished the level. 
Um, but yeah, this was cool. I mean, this overall layout is cool. This feels like, you know, a, a relatively sophisticated Doom 2 map, you know, with like some organic areas and then some kind of man-made or, you know, not natural architecture and stuff. Um, yeah, there's just that weird lava room with the plasma gun in it. Um, yeah, and I think I would say that th that for 96, like the visuals in this are above average. Like the overall lighting in the level, uh, I feel like is more considered than than average. Um, you know, there's like a real sense of, of darkness in here, uh, but then you can see these these structures that are good for wayfinding and stuff, nice and clearly. Um, yeah, and I like the way that that the uh, that the organic areas and the non-organic areas uh, clash together kind of messily. So, yeah, good job. I don't know, yeah. Um, Alright, let's go on to the second map in this two-parter. And this is... what is it? Okay, yeah, this is the arena. So I'm guessing that this is just going to be a whole bunch of monsters just... just dumped out. Just a pizza with every topping on it. Once again, this this um, this this music that's playing is ringing a bell, but not but the title isn't coming to me readily. But. Whoa, hey! All right, so this isn't so much an arena so far, but maybe maybe we're maybe we're working up to that. Uh, yeah, this is a good use of the of that stucco texture that I've commented on in the past. Um, yeah, this architecture is kind of interesting. I mean, it's, you know, it's very rectangular, but... That's me wondering what's coming next. Alright, okay, okay. I'm pretty flush with ammo right now. Oh, okay. So we just hit a switch that... I get the sense that it changed something very close by. Oh, okay. I think it led us into this. Ah, and there we go. There is the there is the titular arena, probably. And yeah, our monster's just going to start spawning in here. This is going to be a big ol' monster assault. What's it going to be? These are all potential hatches for monsters to pour out of. Oh, no, okay, so there's, there's side areas. Alright, that skeleton just hates those imps. What's going on there? What's up, teleporting demon? Oh, secret. This really feels like a secret. This super feels like a secret. Oh, yeah, okay, it is. Nice. All right, there's our rocket launcher. I was kind of half expecting monsters to pounce on me when I grabbed it, but... Cool, all right. Um... Yeah, I'm not it's familiar to me too, but not so not so familiar that I can that I can just, you know. Ah, jeez. Alright, so that was actually like sort of a long trip back from that secret there. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it could be could be Led Zep. Okay. Need the yellow key. Don't got it. Um, hold on. I want to take a drink of water, but 
there are monsters about, and they will kill me. Okay. Um, oh yeah, um, are we... I think we're joined in the chat by... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce uh, your handle here, but um, are you the same uh, author... Are you the author of the Alder Engines piece recently? Um, I'm pretty sure I recognize your handle, but I... Uh, I, I, I don't I, I forget what your what your byline on that on that piece was uh, if that was you um, uh, but yeah that um, regardless of oh yeah geez all right let's cool yeah um, yeah folks should read the uh, the piece all your engines um, it's about um, it's kind of about engines as well I, I, I don't want to you know summarize incorrectly but um, the, the, the big idea in it that I found interesting uh, and that I wish a lot more people would talk about was just engines as a thing that is sold in as as well as a game uh, and how that changed, you know, and how Doom was very much an example of that and uh, but how it's sort of changed over the years and sort of comparing and contrasting the id of old, the id that made classic Doom versus the id that made Doom 2016, which obviously, you know, was a fairly different team, had almost no personnel in common. Um, you know, and just, I don't know, like, it's just sort of a, an interesting collection of related thoughts around the role of technology in game development and game marketing. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it, it's cool. Check it out. Uh, I forget, <laughs> I'm terrible here because I don't, I don't remember, like, the site that it was hosted on or what, but feel free to link it in the, in the chat for, for people to, to read. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. So yeah, I went and did that whole thing. I got the rocket launcher. That was cool. But I need a yellow key. It seems like. Um... All right. We're into this new area. All right. Demons coming in. I was like. Um... Alright, I'm invisible now. Whatever. Oh, and there's a little switch. Something opens up. Alright, is this going to be kind of a similar... Like, this This definitely doesn't feel like a secret, but like sort of a weird detour here. Okay, and that just... That raises up a lift. Um, unpronounceable handle, yes. Um... Emet, uh, yeah, it's right, yeah, in, uh, in, in Jewish folklore, the word that breathes life into a golem, like, it's a rune that's inscribed on the forehead of the golem, and that's what, that's what gives it life, you know, which obviously has a bunch of, you know, interesting resonances with sci- with, you know, a lot of sci-fi that humans have thought about, you know, since, uh, olden days, um, just as far as robots and cyborgs and, you know, the humanity of non-human life forms and all that stuff. Uh, cool. All right. So yeah, we just we just keep getting deeper and deeper in. Okay. So it's got these wings here. I'm assuming that I'm I'm definitely guessing right now that um, that we're that we're off in these. Oh, geez. Okay. So, a, a real monster presence is starting to show up here. Those demons seem tiny. I guess, yeah, this space is just really big. So the demons seem tiny. Um, yeah, I was definitely expecting, like, we go into each of these four side areas and then just, like, apocalyptic amounts of monsters start coming in here. Um, and we are definitely doing as the author recommends in the readme um, and letting the monsters in fight. You know, such a big area with so much room to maneuver. It'd be a shame not to. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little unclear on what I'm, I was supposed to accomplish in these side areas. Like, that's a red key door, so maybe I'm supposed to come back here. Um, I can't go can't go in here yet. Or if that's even a door. I went in here. Okay, yeah, I did that. Did that. And this was the start. So, yeah, okay, all right. This, um, I was definitely expecting there to be yeah now we've just got like some some random hell knights but uh it's nothing it's nothing too ferocious here 
kind of guessing that we're going to get stronger opposition later in the later in the level here, but as far as what we have to do to unlock that, I'm not sure. There you go. Get him. Uh, all right. So like, this is. I don't think anything special is going to happen just when these monsters die. So like, what? Did a red? Did the red key become available somewhere? I don't. I don't actually know. Oh wait, there's like these little. Okay, so pop in there. There's something up here. I have no idea what it could be. All right, so we've we've made this space very safe. Uh, what's? Yeah, I feel like I did everything I needed to do in there. There's a little switch. Yeah, I still don't know what to do with this. Yeah, there's just this whole... There's multiple rooms here that seem like they're connected. A little tough to tell. Um, yeah, the side areas. I don't have the yellow key either. Otherwise, that would let me get into some place around here. Oh, wait, what's this? I don't think I've been down... No, wait, I have. I have. I totally have. Alright, that's yellow. That's a yellow key door. Well, I am kind of baffled here as to what I am supposed to do. Uh, let me just check this area again. I hit that switch. I went up there. That raised this. And this is just a switch here, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I haven't been in the southeast door. Southeast. Oh, yeah, you're right. Good call. Good call. Yeah. There we go. All right. Here's that monstery goodness. Ow. Ow. Alright, what is in here? Yeah, this level is actually less, um, it's kind of less surprising and, uh, than the previous one that we played. Um, I kind of like that I feel like I'm just going off into the, in, you know, down a weird rabbit hole here that isn't necessarily tied to the critical path. I don't actually know if that's the case or not, but... Alright. So that's like kind of a time switch thing. Oh! Wait, something opened up there. That seems like a secret. A possibly interesting to, uh, to ferret out secret. Alright, I'm gonna let that... I'm gonna let that Arachnotron just tick a bunch of monsters off. Pretty, I'm doing pretty good for ammo right now, but now. There you go. Have fun. <clears throat> oh! Rachnotron has finally decided to, uh, to join the party. Come on. go. Fight each other. Okay. Alright. Let's see if I can make sense of this now. Hello, folks. Hello, newcomers. Alright. So, like, what's, what is going on with here? With this? Okay, yeah. So, hitting that switch opens up something that's, like, well outside of this area. Interesting. Can I get over to this in time? Yes, I can. Cool. All right. That's that was like a you know tricky little secret. 
Where is this taking me, though? It's taking me through some dark, blinky metal hallways. Multiple gargoyle faces. Oh my goodness. That guy. Okay, alright. I'm doing alright. Um, very flush with ammo. And hey, yeah, we're back. Okay, we've, we've looped back around to the starting area. I don't think there's anything new for us to discover here, but it's cool that the level designer gave us that little bit of connectivity. Um, cool. Wait, can I get? Can I actually get back here, or am I just kind of stuck here? I need to go back the way that I can. All right, so what did all of that accomplish? I didn't get the, the yellow or the red key. Um, yeah, this is... Oh, I see. Okay, so this switch also just opens up that. So I wasn't actually being as clever or fancy as I maybe thought I was. Yeah, like, let's deal with this these little back areas here. Um. Yeah, where did this where did this lead? I forget. Yeah, did it just lead up to like a tiny little room? Oh, okay. All right. So there's a secret room here with a soul sphere, which I'll take. You know. Um. But yeah, I think this was just like a little dead end room with some potions in it. So this. This, this map definitely has kind of a baffling progression sort of structure here. Eh, eh. Ah, yeah, people are discussing mouse look purism. I, I, I do totally understand people refusing to look up and down in Doom. Um, I think just at some point, like, I I can appreciate a lot more about a, th a 3D space when I can look around freely. Um, so that even if it does break maps a little, you know, expected designer intent or something, I will still do that some... I, will st I still tend to use it, just because... Alright, so, like, I did that whole thing, but I don't think that actually... Oh, wait, did something open up here? I think something did. No. No. Nope. Damn. Like, the, the map got revealed in this direction, so it's like I... Ah, I don't know. Who the heck knows? So where do I go now? Um, I feel like I've just explored this, this little bit to death now. Maybe there's another clever little secrety bit here. Yeah, can't get into this junk. Yeah, can't get up into these little nooks here. Yeah, I really have done this already. Um, is that like a little secret in the switch room here? Oh, hey. How about this? This opened up. Okay, yeah, there's like a... There's a red key door here. Um, Okay, alright, so yeah, there was this was just a whole little wing of the level that was pretty easy to miss. Ow. Just took a revenant rocket directly in the face. Uh cool, okay, this level just has a little has a little dungeon. Some more monsters and cages coming out here. 
I always feel kind of bad just shooting a monster in a cage, you know? Right? Like... I mean, they can... All, most of them can still attack, but like... You know, I just feel kind of bad. Um... Yeah. I know why the caged imp shoots. That's a good. That's a good level name, actually. You could absolutely build a solid Doom level based around that theme. Oh, hey, it's it's our old, it's our long, it's our long sought after buddy, the Red Key. All right, so we grabbed it, and a hatch popped open, and there were some just pretty garden variety monsters. What's in here? Where and where is this leading, I wonder? More monsters in cages, okay. Um, I do have the BFG. I guess I could use it to just, like, fry all those imps there. Uh, and then where does this lead? I want to, like, I feel like the level is, you know, the level's opening up into multiple directions here, but... Um, oh, okay, so this just pops out here. Cool, alright, so... I'm guessing that most of these... Aw, oh, man, but it's one way. <sighs> yeah, okay, alright, well... Do, 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 do. Let's just go along here. Oh, is this a, is this a little secret? What's going on here, yeah. It does look like a secret. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that just led back there. Alright, so I think this is the way forward. That might have just been a complete waste because of how the BFG works. I don't know. Yep. All these jerks are still alive. Need the yellow key. Okay. Well, now that I have the red key, I can probably I can probably do something about my not having yellow key situation. Okay, yeah, this is just some cramped silliness that All right, so I'm going to go back out and go through a red key door now. Go out this way, and there we there it is. The super shotgun. Hallelujah. Jeez, and I I just got I just got wiped out there. Oh my gosh, did I how far back did I save? Uh somewhat far back, I guess. Boo. That's fine. Alright, and this is like... This, yeah, this is a one-way... One-way ticket to... That spot back there. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Don't want to deal with this yet. But I did aggro those monsters, more or less for no reason. Okay. Now, let me see if I can grab the shotgun without... Oh, cool, I'm invisible, so... Actually, not get the drop on those monsters, but, you know... Solenum. Chainsaw him through the bars. It's pretty rude. 
Doom is a fairly rude. I'm role playing as Doom, the rudest of dudes. With the two, with the baddest of dudes, I guess. Ow. A song by the Darkness. Okay, this is just a weird little... It's like a someone was trying to tunnel out of this prison cell or something. Oh. Okay, and at the end of this, there is a soul sphere. That's, an, that's sort of an odd little cramped kind of secret, secret crawl. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, all right, so we've got the red key and, I, and, and the super shotgun, which was just a... Clearly, in retrospect, just like a little optional bonusy kind of thing. So, let's move on. All right, just past the hour mark. I feel like we're probably getting kind of close to the end here. Okay, now that we've got the red key, we can go through this this dealy. And what's going to be down here? Poison. Ooh, interesting. That was a really interesting little thing that, 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 that the level just did there. Opened up this door, and as I was crossing the threshold, this arrow that was raised up from the slime here lowered down into the, into the slime and vanished, basically. But now I have, like, this directional cue of, like, yeah, go this way. Um, and it looks like it's kind of pointing me to a secret, I'm guessing. Um, oh, okay, yeah, this is cool. I like this. Um, it's certainly not the first time I've seen this this little thing done in a level, but like, just the the this is normally blue water, which is nice, but then it's being like polluted, like this evil toxic, you know, nukage is seeping into it. Uh, I dig it. Yeah, what's going on up there? I mean, I guess I can. Up. Oh, that was probably a mistake. going on. Oh, hey! Some mancubi are just chilling in that room. Ow. That was not the right... That was not the right choice of, of, of weapon. I wanted to... I wanted to switch up to rockets and just you know, use use that for a while, but you know, you gotta use the right tool for the job, not not the thing that you wanna that you wanna that you don't care about conserving ammo for. Yellow key, and I heard a door open, so there's probably there's probably some monsters waiting for us. Um, oh, hey. Oh, okay. All right, so we're back here now. And we've got the yellow key, so we can... Interesting. It's interesting how that matched up. We might just be on different sides of the same thing here. Wild. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, if only someone would make a Doom mod where you could talk to the monsters instead of killing them. That would be cool. Someone should do that. Um, yeah, speaking of which, yeah, uh, yeah, Mr. Friendly got, did get, like, a couple of mentions in the Mention Nation for CAC Awards 2018 thread on Doom World. Um, yeah, I'm talking to someone, or I, I really need to, res to respond to his email, but, um, yeah, about getting, doing, like, a little bit of sprite art for a 1.0 release of Mr. Friendly. So I definitely want to get that out in the next month or two just so I can just just so I can have it at 1.0, you know, and just get rid of some of the placeholder stuff that's in there. Um, and uh, yeah, just in case they people want to have a look at it for a potential CAC award. I don't know. I've already won one, so you know, I, if if there's stuff other people feel is more deserving, that's that's cool, but whoa, hey. Oh jeez. Slaughtered by those chain gunners. All right, I'm feeling like we're getting we're getting to the end here. I mean, like I 
what did... Yeah, what was the point of all that? Of all that business? Yeah, there's the yellow key there. Have we encountered any other? Oh, yeah, there is a yellow key door at the in the um, in the southwest. Yeah, let's do this. Yellow key. Is this the exit? Come on, fin give us give us a good strong finish here. Oh dear. Oh yes, uh, yeah, in, in 2010, I guess, I, uh, yeah, my Arcadia D-Made map, uh, got a cackle, was, you know, was among the cackle worded. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that map. I mean, you know, it was, it was easy in some ways, because it was just a D-Make of a map that I had already developed, but, I don't know. If I wanted to top that, I would probably have to uh, to do a Doom demake of one of my Psychonauts 2 levels, which that could be real difficult for multiple reasons. But we'll see. Okay, all right. This is this is feeling finale-ish. You know, we've got some some tougher monsters here. Uh, oh, and there's a blue. Key. Okay, yeah, we've got the blue key. Is this the exit? I, I really hope... I don't know, like... Maybe this is a teleport pad. Uh, oh, oh, there's a backpack. That could be up in the stakes here. Um, yeah, what's going on here? Okay, so I went in here. Have we seen any other blue... Uh, blue key doors here. Um, I did not work on the first Psychonauts game. Uh, I uh, did some uh, some contract level design for Psychonauts 2 uh, recently, like finishing earlier this year. Oh, here we go. Okay, alright, cool. Yep, all the monsters are coming in. Um, and so yeah, given that Psychonauts 2 is uh, not out yet, I am not at liberty to say what levels I worked on. But uh, they were cool. They're coming along. Um, and yeah, they look great. The art team is making them real beautiful. And Okay, all right, yeah, there's tons of... Oh, man, I kind of made a mistake here. I, I need the Jeepers. Okay, yeah, there's a whole bunch of monsters here. Uh, yeah, you, you know, yeah, like, I, there have been, like, there are multiple Doom mods that add platforming, uh, with, with, with good success. Um, yeah, Adventures of Square, one, you know, episodes one and two are great. Um, uh, Doom, the Golden Souls, like, adds just very Mario-like movement to Doom, which is pretty fascinating to see. Um, I enjoyed playing with that some. Um... Alright, we've got this pain elemental who could be a problem here. Yeah, we've just got so much room to maneuver around here that I I don't feel like Yeah, this isn't This isn't super stressful right now. Um Oh, did this open up the exit? Is that what this is? Boy. Yeah, something just opened up. Are more monsters going to come in here? Cool. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to kill the Cyber Demon, even though his rockets could be a very 
useful source of damage in the future. I don't know how much longer we have to go here, but, um, but yeah. All right, so these side areas are opening up for sure. And, uh, all right, I'm gonna wait until my, until my golden eyes wear off. Um, all right, have I been in here? No, I have not. Ooh, a megasphere. I will take that. And just these, like, empty... Maybe they had monsters in them? I don't know. Um, Alright, so this level... I feel like the last... portions of this level are unfolding here. Oh, yeah, Sonic Robo Blast. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, oh, oh, hey! Bunch of specters in the dark. I haven't chainsawed many chain gunners in my time. Ow. Okay, all right, and there's a blue door. Oh, jeez. Cool, all right. I feel like we're getting to the end here. I guess that's the exit. So yeah, this is this is this is we're at the end here. Um, yeah, I dug that. That wasn't that was a nice little that was a nice little freak out at the end here. You know, like you you go through, going through this door, it definitely felt like oh yeah, the exit is right around the corner, and then like boom, pops open, and yeah, like the combination of those hit scanners and the two revenants up on their little platforms was cool. Um, yeah, this was a cool map. Um, I feel like the direction stumbled a few times. And you know some of the some of the air went out of the tires, uh, you know, as far as just like keeping me going. But um, yeah, and it's an interesting map concept. You know, like it, big central area, you come back to it multiple times, and different waves of monsters spawn. Um, relatively, you know, increasingly tough fights in the different quadrants of it, and all that. Um, yeah, it was yeah, it was cool. Um, yeah, like and yeah, the architecture is above average, I would say. Um, again, maybe not quite up to the author's braggadocious claims, but, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is cool. This was cool. And for I think for, for 96, this probably would have felt significantly more epic, you know? I mean, this kind of, this level of open spaceness. I mean, 96, so yeah, there weren't source ports yet, so this was probably very carefully uh, skirting the vis plane limit. You know, just with like all this, these like variations in floor heights and stuff. So probably building to right up against the vanilla doom limits. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this, this didn't like, this didn't do anything creatively that like really made me like jump for joy. But um, you know, it was solid. Uh, and yeah, and the first, the first. I, I liked the, the the first map um, in the pack as well. So yeah, let's uh, let's jump out. And yeah, there were like seven secrets that we didn't find. Um, and yeah, now we're back in map three, the Gantlet. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, Al's Doom. That was the arena by Al Howe. Uh, <laughs> Try all the wads listed on my webpage. They will beat any other wad. <laughs> yeah, I just like I don't know. There's a certain kind of tone that comes from that comes off the author with this. Um, yeah, and that was from July of '96. So you know, relatively, it was kind of getting. It was like in the golden age of mega wads and stuff. Uh, yeah, and I wonder if Al Howe ever did make uh, the 32 level wad. Maybe who knows. Al at winteractive.com. I have no idea. Webpage webdragon.com. Those are some very 1996 feeling URLs. 
Okay, cool. Well, yeah, it's been an hour and 15 minutes, so and I'm about I'm about played out. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, sorry for like just sort of the weird technical difficulties. We were trying to play that sort of multi-repacked mod that didn't necessarily. I don't know if we necessarily got to see all of the content there. Uh, but the second thing worked fine, and uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was it was yeah, it was good, good. Uh, Good seeing y'all, and um, yeah, have a good one. I'll see y'all next week. Um, next week probably will also be at uh, at 7:30 uh, or 8 maybe, but um, yeah, I'll let I'll let folks know ahead of time on Twitter and Mastodon, and yeah, so I'll see y'all then. Um, yeah, thanks a bunch. Have a good week. Bye.